everyone, it's your girl Amber, registered nurse, life coach, bodybuilder, but most importantly, I'm here to help you unlock your true potential and become the best version of you, baby. Look at my pre-workout. Oh, freaking yummy. But I recently made a poll on my Instagram asking you guys, what do you want to hear in my next YouTube video? And y'all answered. Drum roll, please. I'll be showing you guys how to make a vision board. I take so much pride in my vision board. I put a lot of work, a lot of time into it. Before we continue, we got your sweetheart of the day. It's not called sweetheart of the mother effing day anymore. I'm trying not to swear as much. Today, I'm giving it out to Mr. Amir. Amir is one of my dearest friends. I met him when I did my very first travel contract in Virginia. He's freaking awesome. This guy, he's a power lifter. He's in the process of starting his own startup company. He excels at his job and at his career. He's got a hottie for a girlfriend. But most of all, he is such a wonderful friend. Oh, my mom is calling me, hold on. It's not me just realizing I didn't have my microphone going the whole time. Oopsies. As I was saying, most of all, Amir has taught me how to be a better person and a better friend. Like this man, he's always been there for me. He always checks in on me. He's given me new perspectives on things. And he just inspires me to be a better person every day because he's genuinely a good human being. So Amir, you're freaking awesome. I love you, man. On with today's episode. Oh my gosh, I'm just so excited. Okay, I think a lot of people know what a vision board is, but I'm just gonna kind of reiterate it, summarize it for you. A vision board essentially is where you get a board, piece of paper, whatever it is, and you put a bunch of pictures of the things you want or the things you wanna be, and that just helps you visualize your goals and like you manifest it. Like you're gonna be manifesting the things that you want. And I found that over the years, like it's a lot more in depth than just putting a bunch of pictures on a board, which I'll explain in a moment here. Quick side note, I just wanna say how incredibly excited I am for you guys to set new goals for yourself, especially with the new year coming on. Like. 2024 is gonna be huge, and I'm so excited. It's nothing but blessings. It's gonna be great. But like I said, let's start with the basics. First, we gotta get our supplies. So for my vision board, I wanted to go all out. Like, I wanted it to look so freaking good that I like staring at this thing. I wanna post it up on my wall, like, yeah. So I actually got a canvas for mine, and you don't have to go super crazy, like spending a bunch of money on all these different art supplies. There's a bunch of stores like Joann's and Michael's where you can get really good deals on things. I think I got a pack of three canvases this size. I think it was like 12 bucks. And the thing about Joann's is they always have a bunch of sales, like 40% off. And then on top of that, I bought a bunch of paint and some brushes. Again, the paint was like 50 cents per bottle. I got a pack of paint brushes that were like, I don't know, 10 bucks. And then if you wanna spice it up a little bit, you can get a bunch of stickers. I got like this gold tape that I could put around all my pictures and that. So just have fun with it. Like this is a reflection of you and who you are and you should just be in love with this thing because you're putting all your goals on here. Then once you have your art supplies, it's time to get your pictures, which is the most exciting part. This is the part where you get to dig deep into who you are, who you want to be, what you want to accomplish, and you just roll with it. One of my biggest tips when it comes to printing out the pictures of the things you want to be or things you want, don't limit yourself. It's very easy when you're thinking about the things you want and looking at pictures online. Like, let's say you want a certain type of car, right? But then you're like, okay, well maybe that's a little too much. No, stop right there. There's no such thing as too much. If that's what you want, then you need to manifest it. Like, you have to have the utmost belief, like, that's what I want. Like, that's truly what I want. I'm not gonna let, like, whatever situation or circumstance I'm in right now, like, determine what I want. So go all out. Like, if you want that product bag, go for it. If you want to have a billion dollars in your bank account, like, print out a picture of a billion dollars or write a check that says a billion dollars on it. For example purposes, I'll show you mine here really quick. I'm in the process of writing a book right now, and I wanna be an author. I imagine myself at Barnes & Noble, like signing all my books, everything like that. Like there's a line out the door. So I printed just this random chick, like signing books. And on top of that, a bonus, I made sure she was brunette because I'm brunette. If you want to, you can even print out a picture of your face and just slap it on there. Like whatever you have to do to make it feel as real as possible. So yeah, print out the pictures you want and don't limit yourself. I also put in like quotes like this one, the universe wants me to succeed, everything I want is already mine. Like just reaffirming everything. 
Oh my gosh, I still didn't have my microphone going. Now, now we're working, baby. I feel like a lot of people think like once you have your pictures, like you are good to go. All you gotta do is just glue them on your board and you're set. There you have your vision board. No, babe, we are just getting started. Which I mean, it's fine. Like you can totally do that and just have your pictures on there. Like you do you boo. But I like to take it a step further because a vision board isn't just a picture of all the things you want, right? Like you have to truly believe like it is yours. That is the key, the secret to manifestation. Because when you're saying, I want that, I want this, blah, 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 blah. It's not, it's like a way it's in the future. Subconsciously, your mind's not going to think that's yours and it's going to be harder to obtain that goal. With that being said, that leads me to my next tip. As you can see, I have like kind of just these random like paragraphs everywhere. So what I did is I actually took the time to write out with the picture, like what am I? Like what is it? So for example, going back to the author one, I put I'm a best-selling author. I say things in the present tense because it is mine. And the more you keep saying things in the present tense, the more you believe it, the more opportunities you see. It just solidifies to you and the universe that this is you, this is yours. Another example is I'm healthy or I'm happily married. One of my favorites on here is I'm a Porsche 911 owner. So when you put out all of your pictures, like just say, that's what I am. Like instead of saying, I'm going to be a millionaire, that's still like in the future, like I'm going, no, say I'm a millionaire, I am a millionaire right now. Then after you do that, I like to imagine myself actually having those things. Let's go back to the Porsche because I just, I love my Porsche, I love it. So after I wrote I'm a Porsche 911 owner, I asked myself like, okay, what does it feel like to own a Porsche? What does it smell like? What does the steering wheel feel like? I'm jumping up and down with excitement. I feel the clean, slick steering wheel and new car smell. I'm feeling free, empowered, and a bad ass. And I know it sounds a little funny and you might feel a little uncomfortable writing these things out, but it's so bizarre because the more I think like that, like how I own things in the present tense, you believe it more and more and more. For example, like when people say, oh, like a, a Porsche 911 is your dream car, I'm like, it's not, like I truly believe like that's my car, you know? I probably wouldn't have thought that way a year ago. Let's do another example. So here I have, I'm an IFBB figure pro, which if you don't know what that is, it's a professional bodybuilder. The same thing, I wrote it in the present tense, like I'm a bodybuilder. And that's even how I tell people too. I might not have that title like right now physically, but like deep down, like I know that's what I'm meant to be and what I'm achieving. Like it's already mine. Like I am a pro. I might just not have that title or that physical title yet, but I know like that's what I am. And then underneath that, like I walk around with comp confidence with a champion mindset. I I see myself grow mentally and physically every day. I can see the stage lights and hear the people cheering in the audience. Someone might describe this as like a delusion, but you kind of have to have that delulu, I guess that's what the kids call it. You kind of have to have that delusion mindset. Like you have to believe it so hard that it might make other people feel uncomfortable, but as long as you're believing like that's yours, like it's there. It's all, you already told the universe like, hey, this is mine. And the universe is like, all right, babe, I got you, I got you. I also wanna highlight some words that I have right here. So I watched a YouTube video not too long ago. It was before I made this board. And it was a woman on YouTube. And I apologize, I don't remember her name. But she was talking about how she makes her vision boards and how to make it work more specifically. I just wanna highlight those things because I found them extremely helpful and beneficial to me. And first we have get clear, which means like obviously deciding what you want, what, what are your goals. Next we have feel and visualize, which was what I was talking about, like living in the present moment. Like don't say I will or I'm going, like feel it now, like feel, like when you're talking about owning a car, like how does it feel? Like see it in your driveway. You have to keep like drilling it in your brain. Next and probably one of the biggest things is you have to trust. Trust in yourself, trust in the universe. Because if you have these goals and things you wanna accomplish, like if you don't have the utmost belief that it's going to happen, then it's just, it's just a dream. Like what's the point of saying, oh, I wanna own my own business, but then just kind of cut yourself down and be like, oh, I don't know if I'm good enough for that. Like, you're like, 
it's just counterintuitive. Why would you keep putting those things on your vision board if you keep having this low key self doubt in the back of your head? You just have to have this trust and belief that, hey, like even though I might not know how I'm gonna get those things, like I trust that it's going to happen because I already believe it, like it's mine. So then we have become a vibrational match. And this one is a little bit hard for me to explain, but in my opinion, it's pretty much you have to embody like that persona. Kind of like what I was saying about like thinking you have it now and like living in the present moment. Um, you have to have the same frequency and vibration as the thing you want. Like if you want to be a millionaire, you have to act. You have to share that same vibration as a millionaire. You're not gonna become a millionaire if you have the mindset and the thoughts of someone that's not. I imagine a millionaire walks around with confidence, stress-free, empowered. But you have to match the exact persona and vibration as the thing you want. And lastly, we have inspired action. Obviously, when we have the belief that we're gonna have these things, like it's already working. The universe is already working on it but we also have to put in the work too. Like I said, we might not know exactly how to get to those things, but we can't just sit at home and do nothing. And even if you do things that you think, I, this is silly, I, I don't know how this is gonna make me a millionaire, that still opens the doors to new opportunities that could get you close. And the more you keep looking for these opportunities to arise, like the more you're gonna see, the more you're gonna act. It's like a domino effect. For example, like let me ask you, like how many times did you see a red car today? You probably couldn't really answer that. Like, I can't, like, I didn't really notice. But now when I tell you, like, hey, when you go to the grocery store next, keep an eye out for a red car. You're probably gonna see a bunch of red cars because you're actively looking for those things. Same goes with opportunities. And overall, you just have to keep putting in the work. Oh, you wanna be an author? Then you better start writing. That book's not gonna write itself. Oh, you wanna be a professional bodybuilder? Well, you better get to the goddamn gym and eat your meals. All of these things are completely attainable. Like, you can have every single one of these things, but you still have to put in the effort in some way, shape, or form. Once you put your vision board together and you have all your pictures, and if you chose to write little paragraphs, you can, now what do you do with it? Are you just gonna let it sit in your closet for all of 2024? No, babe, we don't do that. You gotta show off your creation. For me, I make sure to have this in a place that I will see every single day. Whether that's hanging up on the wall, have it in my kitchen, have it in the living room, whatever it is, make it a point that you see this every single day. Another great option that I highly recommend is take a picture of it. Take a picture with your phone and then set it as your background. So every time you go on your phone or you look at a new message, you're gonna be seeing your vision board. And even if you don't take a moment to read it, your mind's gonna still subconsciously see it. Then make it a point to take 10 minutes of your day to look at this, like to actually embrace this. There's been many times where I'll just sit in front of this and I'll read each of my paragraphs and I'll close my eyes, kind of like meditating, and I'll close my eyes and just imagine it. How does it feel? Like I'll imagine myself sitting in my Porsche 911 or I'll imagine myself winning my pro car. And like I said, it only has to be five, 10 minutes a day. Like how much time do you spend on your phone every day? You know, you can easily make time to just sit and embrace your vision board and think about it. Before I sign off, I just wanna read you a quote that my husband said to me once and I really liked it, but it was when I was kind of in between seasons and I wasn't really sure what to do with my life. And I asked him, I was in the bathtub. I was like, babe, I don't know what I'm gonna do with my life. So here's what I said. What should I do with my life? I asked and he replied with, whatever you want. So it's just a nice reminder that you're not, you're not tied down to anything. I know it's easy to think that way. Like whether you're in a certain relationship or at a job or you're living in a place that you're not fond of, like you might think that you're stuck, but you're not. I think a lot of us forget like this is our lives. Like we're the CEO of our own lives. And at some point we have to take the accountability. Like I can do with it whatever I want. Some might say that's naive, but I truly hope this helped a little bit on your own vision board making journey. I'm really excited. I would love for you guys to send me a picture of your guys' vision board because they're just so unique and special to every single one of us. Like I absolutely love these things. Hope everyone has a great day and have an even better 2024.